Hey guys, what's going on? So lo and behold, as I was editing the patch note video, the patch went live. Uh, no delay this time, unfortunately, but uh, whatever. So, we are checking out the Halloween stuff. We have Luna here. May, let's play. Carrot candy, do you have any carrot candy? Carrot candy, I've never heard of that. Well, I do have chocolate, though. Chocolate is good, too. Nom nom. Eh, who's that tall lady over there? Never seen her before. That's Yana. Oh, you mean Yana? She's amazing, you know? She even has the title of Dragon Slayer. There used to be this evil scary dragon called Svelta, the Mad, a few years ago. She slew that dragon alone without any help. Mad? What, was she always angry? Some dragons got corrupted and go crazy. They wreak havoc instead of guarding the world as they should. May I put the requested dragon scales, hide, and other materials outside? You'll read this dialogue yourself, so I'm just going to read it and, cut and edit it out. Alright, but here we go. We're gonna start with Ghost of Halloween Mummy Jane. And uh, we can only do, I guess, story mode for now. There's gonna be like, a whole story for this thing. I do like the story and dialogue bits of the game. It's just that I don't wanna bore you guys with that, so I'm gonna edit it out. All right, but it looks like we are starting now. I'm just gonna leave them on auto, see if they can take care. Yep, I th yeah, I think they actually can take care of it on their own. So stage two probably won't be any harder. Nope. And now we have like Jane and Darkness of Tanya, I think that is. Here we go, first boss fight. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, I see. What the hell's going on? Let's get a little bit of background music in here. Wait a minute, does it mean that people with costumes are the only ones that can do damage? I really hope that's not the case. Oh, that would be bad. I only have a costume for Cassandra. Okay, well, Luna has a costume now, thankfully. Uh, but I'm not sure if she will, like, in, in future episodes. Alright, well, that was the end of the first one, anyway. We got eight tokens, uh, of course. So, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. I'm gonna go and check out the other parts of the patch. Um, I don't know if I'll still upload the, the patch note video, because I was, like, already halfway done with editing and recording and stuff. So, here are the rewards you can get. 400, uh, for the three stones of infinity. So, some really awesome stuff here, and it looks like it's pretty easily farmable. I find it better than the rice cake event, because you have more control over it. But, uh, we got a cool theme here going on, Halloween theme. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Halloween event. Oh, no, but the heart event is gone. What a shame! I would have been able to get him out today. If I, uh, I think if I had just stayed up past midnight, that probably would have worked as well. Because I could have sworn the heart thing said there was one day and something hours on it. So I was like, okay, well, I'll still be here tomorrow. But apparently it wasn't. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Well, Neeks, one more day. So now that we've gone over the Halloween event, we are going to be trying Hell Mode on Chapter 7-2. I have not tried this yet. I've just been running some hard mode so we can get uh, this event stuff going on. We've, we've actually used 500 stamina already. There was a bit of a break in between recordings here. And we got another key here for the thing. And uh, yeah, I th I assume it can get up to a thousand, but I'm not sure yet. So five extra keys daily, that would make sense. So here we go, hell mode. They are all level 80. We are trying 7-2 hell because there are the harpies here and we do have at least one harpy mask. So people with more than one harpy mask will benefit a lot. Uh, from having those um, so I'm gonna go with these dudes. I was taking claws, but for hell mode We're actually going to take Jane put the best gear we have on her. I believe they are physical attackers So we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, Harpy mask may as well get something else there and uh, yeah, whatever I guess it doesn't matter too much that looks to be about good now So let's go ahead and give it a try uh, we do need to eat some food. I don't want to do a stamina potion because I have a feeling I'm just going to fail this and then uh, I kind of have an OCD about being over energy for too long because it feels like I'm wasting it, but uh, okay, let's let's give it a try. If we can even get close to beating it, I would be happy, happy camper. Um, maybe it's not too much harder, but uh, hey, I'm just going to leave them on auto or I'll try and do uh, Cassandra's buff first. So first of all, I see Jane is tanking actually very well so far. <laughs> I know we just started a second ago, but... Uh, Oh no, they're taking a little bit of damage over there, getting frozen and such. Alright, but it's actually not looking so bad. It's not looking so bad. Look at this, we're almost through the first wave. This isn't bad. I'm not sure, Could can we actually do this? That would be so sick. Go Luna, carrot bomb, away. Alright, alright. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind of slow, honestly. But, you know, it's, it, 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 it's pretty good going, yeah. All right, stage two. The boss is what I'm going to be the most concerned with, obviously, if we can kill it in time. Uh, these guys are obviously a lot more tanky than uh, hard mode, and hard mode they were already very tanky, so it might be a problem. Uh, Luna's over there doing pretty... Oh, sh what the hell is that? 
Luna, Luna's over there doing some pretty good DPS at 1.3 million. I think that is pretty good for Hell Mode Chapter 7. But just the minion stage here is we're already down to 50 seconds, so it's taken over 40 seconds now. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay, um, so we have to first decide if it, if it is a problem with survivability or if it is a problem with uh, damage. So, uh, it's looking kind of survivability at the moment. There goes Maria, so I don't think we might not be ready for this yet. Maybe a different strategy. There goes... Okay, yeah. That's... <laughs> oh, jeez. That was... Uh, that's sad. But yeah, I wasn't. I really wasn't expecting to to be able to beat it yet, um, and that's that. I'm not sure if it was always like that 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 they were attacking the backline before actually killing the tank. Um, damage, I can't imagine, would have been too much of a problem had everyone not died. But since we only have one harpy mass, that may contribute a little bit to the problem. We're gonna try the first stage also. Switch around a couple of the artifacts. Uh, because there are no harpies here. I imagine this is going to be even harder, but I don't think they can attack the backline, these tiger dudes. So maybe it'll be a little bit easier. Ah, but those tree nut dudes can. Well, the tree nut dude just hit my Luna, and it did very little damage, so maybe there's not too much to worry about there. So the first stage is looking good. Second stage also isn't looking too bad, but there are two of these tree nut dudes there, and they are doing some damage. It Usually Cassandra can heal it just fine, so... Hopefully it'll stay like that. So we're at the boss now. Up until now, it doesn't look too bad, too dangerous, but this tiger dude could be a major problem. Also, maybe the tree nut dude is stronger here than he was on the little on the little dudes, and uh, Jane is taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, hopefully, Cassandra can heal that up. Okay, she didn't get... Cause Cassandra didn't get her crit buff off, so she won't heal as well. She won't heal anything, actually. Uh, that was unfortunate. Um, so it looks like Jane might be going down here soon, and the boss is still... Yeah, we, I just don't think we are quite ready uh, for the uh, hell mode yet, it looks like. Maybe a different strategy as well, I don't know. So the enemies beforehand don't seem to be a problem, it's just the bosses. Unfortunate, but to be expected. Just for fun, let's try hell mode conquest. We just entered hot time, so let's... <laughs> let's give that a rumble. Yeah, we're on hell mode. He does magic though, doesn't he? Yeah, so I'll, I'll need to switch Jane's gear back to magic defense. We won't be able to kill him, but let's just see how close we can get. I know with this dude, I can CC him pretty well, because um, he attacks very slow, and if I do it manually, I probably could do it. So I have a feeling it would probably still more come down to uh, time and not, being able, and not having enough DPS, even though Luna does do quite a lot, uh, but we'll see here. Uh, CC, anyone? Anyone got some CC for me? This actually isn't looking too bad. He's at a little under half health at, at, at about half time now. So if it keeps going like this, we can actually kill this dude on hell mode. Wow, that would be insane. I mean, conquest, that's like the hardest bit. Go, guys, I swear to God, do it! Oh man, Luna used her carrots right before the crit boost. And, and her other skill. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna work this time, but I'm, I'm, oh no, oh no, someone CC him. I absolutely know on, on manual it should work. Go guys! Ah, oh, 479k, one second, go! Yeah! Alright. I think we get, like, what, 10 deluxe potions for that? Oh man, that's freaking awesome. Holy crap, I'm surprised I was able to do that. When I can't do a story mode. Look at that, 400k experience for everyone. Mother of God, and 10. Deluxe flasks, another 1.25 million experience. Jeez. I guess there's not too much else to say. Oh yeah, this one last thing, the all-in-one package. I was actually pretty much spot on with the pricing. I did go a little bit higher than I would think is a good price because, you know, that's just kind of how it is. But uh, yeah, $43.99. Um, personally, I think if you're the type to buy rubies, it is a good value. I'm personally not. I don't buy rubies. Uh, I bought like the daily ruby packages and that's about it. But um, if you're the type to buy rubies, it, it is a pretty good value. I mean, we have three 10 plus ones in here, especially if you're the type to buy rubies and then spend them on heroes or special summons or uniforms. Because you do get a five star hero ticket. Granted, you can't spend it on a new one. Uh, three 10 plus ones, which is equaling like 7,500 rubies. And then a costume ticket, which is another 3,000. 
So the value is there. If there is a hero you are thinking about buying for rubies and it's not one of the new ones, then that's like a total value of somewhere in the neighborhood of like 15,000 rubies and 10,000 costs 90 euros. So unless it's your first purchase, then of course it'll be 20,000 and the value would still be there, honestly, if you were planning on using those rubies for that stuff anyway. But yeah, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Leaving a like would also be greatly appreciated if you did happen to enjoy. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time... And again, thanks to the supporters over on Patreon.